Mother's Day Mix-Up by Isa Wozczowska, illustrated by Trey Chavez. Andy woke up early, before anyone else in the house was awake, because he had a plan. Today was Mother's Day, and Andy wanted to do something to show his mom how much he loved her. Andy decided that since his mom made him breakfast every day before school, today he would make breakfast for her. Andy had never made breakfast by himself, and he was very excited. First, I will go out into the garden and pick some flowers so the breakfast will look pretty, Andy thought, and off he ran to pick some daisies and roses from the garden. That was easy, Andy said. Now on to the food. Andy went into the kitchen and scoured the cupboards for the ingredients he needed. As he found them, he placed them on the counter. Eggs to make scrambled eggs, bread and butter to make toast, juice to pour into a glass, and some strawberries for dessert. That was easy, Andy said. Now I just have to cook everything and put it on a plate. But this part wasn't so easy. Andy put a pan on the stove, but in all his excitement, he poured the strawberries into the pan instead of the eggs, and poured the juice into the vase for the flowers. He began spreading butter on the eggs instead of the toast. The butter made the eggs so slippery that they fell out of his hands and broke all over the floor. Oh, no! Andy cried as he looked around the kitchen. The strawberries were on the plate instead of the pan, and the flowers, not the juice, needed to be in the vase. The butter needed to be on the bread, and the eggs should not have been broken. Oh, no! Andy said again. I've mixed everything up. Now my mom will never know that I love her, because I've done everything wrong. My breakfast surprise is ruined. Andy? somebody said, and Andy turned around to see his mom standing in the doorway of the kitchen. What are you doing in here? she asked. Andy felt scared. How could he possibly explain why he had made such a terrible mess? I was trying, I wanted to breakfast, love, Mother's Day. You were making a Mother's Day breakfast? For me? Andy's mom asked, and he thought this was the moment she would get mad at him. Oh, Andy, that's wonderful. That's the best Mother's Day present I could have asked for. And she gave Andy a giant hug right near the broken eggs. But I didn't do it right, Andy said. How is that a good present? Because you wanted to cook me breakfast. And you had this idea all by yourself, and you tried. You really tried. And cooking is hard, especially for someone who has never cooked before. It's the thought that counts, Andy. And your thought was wonderful. Andy was happy that his mom still liked the surprise, even though it had come out all wrong. She looked around the kitchen and said, Let's have some strawberries. And together, Andy and his mom ate warm strawberries from the pan and drank juice out of a vase. Both of them were happy. Happy Mother's Day, Mom! Andy exclaimed. If it's the thought that counts, I think you're the greatest mom ever. And Andy's mom smiled a great big smile on this great big mixed-up Mother's Day.